Welcome back to HelpMeWithMyTeeth.com. I'm your host, Dr. Martin Potter. Today, we got a real juicy one for you. I got to keep myself out of trouble with this one. Quick disclaimer for all you dentists out there. I'm not against you. I'm not trying to get you in trouble. I'm not trying to make enemies in any way, but we're going to hit a bit of a spicy one today. We're going to talk about the dreaded fraudulent dentistry. Yeah, I know. that's uh, That just puts a shiver down many of our spines, but unfortunately, it's, uh, it's definitely a, a bubbling problem uh, under the, the rug of the dental industry. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's dig into this one. How do we avoid getting ripped off at the dentist? Ooh, that's just a scary thought. This idea of having a healthcare professional that you trust, finding out later on that things didn't really go down the way it was explained to you. It's sad, but this, this does happen quite a bit. So let's get into it. It's one thing to figure out how to find a good dentist your family loves and an entirely different question to make sure your dentist's office isn't going to commit fraud at the expense of your checkbook. This can get expensive. Um, we've all faced, all us dentists have faced, patients come around for this very reason. They just lost trust in their dentist and felt they had to just change up. So. This is definitely an issue going on. I've seen this plenty of times before, but this abuse of this patient was egregious. It gave me a sick feeling in my stomach. It is sickening to find out when, you know, patients have had fillings done or have had root canals done that really aren't necessary. Um, it's a hard problem to face when the, when the patient's sitting there right before you because there's really nothing to say. It's like, yeah, that wasn't right and it's a problem. But you need to trust me because I'm not going to do that for you. Fraudulent dentistry doesn't go on in the majority of practices, but I still see it far too often. Really, I don't see it all that much, but you know, some of it is hard to detect. It sort of flies under the radar, so it's definitely going on. A good dentist is your partner in health who works with you to optimize your well being and prevent disease. The right dental health partner for you is the dentist who is wholly concerned with your health, wholly concerned with your health and not the health of his or her pocketbook. Yeah, exactly. The wrong dentist can wreak havoc on your mouth and do permanent damage with too much work that you don't need. Yeah, work that you don't need. This is my advice on how to find an honest and ethical dental practice that will be your partner in health for a lifetime. Yeah. That's, uh, it sounds simple, but sometimes it's really not that simple. The vast majority of dentists are honest. That's definitely something we want to get across here. We're not against all you dentists out here. We're certainly not to, trying to portray this industry, trying to portray dentists in a, in a harsh light, saying that they're all a bunch of crooks and shysters. But unfortunately, more and more we're seeing this pop up. I'll tell you where I'm seeing it more and more. And that is with uh, young, newly graduated dentists. Um, unfortunately, dent dental education is getting more and more expensive. Dentists are finding themselves in more and more in student debt. And when the day finally comes around where they get their license and they step out into a practice, there's a huge weight on their back. And you can bet that it's working on them to, uh, to alter their their clinical judgment. Then they start buying a practice, go another million dollars in debt, start taking on six, seven, eight, nine, ten staff, a monthly overhead of fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars. And you can see this is a big recipe for trouble. So this is unfortunately something we have to face. And I think it's not all bad news here. I do have some good news for you. I think what we offer here at help me with my teeth.com with online dental consultations and our famous tooth talk is definitely something that can help you sort of navigate this course and, and uh, beat the difficulties of this dental fraud. So why is dentistry so vulnerable to fraud? There are certain aspects of dentistry that leave the profession more vul vulnerable to fraud than say the medical profession. The subjective nature of dental diagnosis. Yeah, I'm sure many of you have been faced the situation Maybe you go to a dentist that has a multi -dent, uh, has a multi dentist practice. There's more than one practitioner in the office. So you see dentist A, and they say, uh, oh, you got one little cavity over here in your lower left molar. 
Then uh, you come back the next week, dentist A isn't there, and then dentist B has a look at you and says, wow, you got five cavities that need to be filled right away. And you're left there shaking your head like, what's going on here? Why? Who's telling me the truth and what's really going on here? It can be a difficult situation. The decision as to whether you need dental treatment is often a gray area. One dentist will say one thing, another will say another. This is normal and it's to be expected. Don't let that throw you off. That is quite common. But it means that the usual signs of insurance fraud are practitioner prescribing more procedures than his or her colleagues are more difficult to detect. This is inherently, there is inherently more variation in treatment standards. It's more difficult to pin down a procedure as truly unnecessary it is. So, you know, I don't want to belabor the point here with a lot of this. Um, it's a rather lengthy, lengthy article here. We're going to talk about root canals, how often root canals fly under the radar. It's very easy for a dentist to say, oh, that nerve looks damaged and you need a root canal. But, you know, maybe if something such as what's mentioned here, a pulp cap, which is a, a small procedure to try to get a nerve to heal as opposed to removing the nerve and sometimes be a good way to negotiate uh, a deep filling and sometimes you can um, wait it out or maybe even you don't even need that root canal in the end. So lack of oversight for a medical procedure, any diagnosis will be subject to a lot of review. Doctors to nurses to specialists, other clinic or hospital staff in dentistry the only people in the know are you. Yeah, often the decision is just made with you and the dentist sitting there. Of course, that brings a lot of power to the to the uh, dental situation. You can get your situation diagnosed and fixed quite quickly, but it involves the big trust. Do you trust your dentist? A big word in our industry. Very, very important. Something that a lot of our young practitioners don't really understand. So. Some of the signs of fraudulent dentistry, urgency without details. Any dentist that's trying to push you into doing something right away, that's definitely a, you know, that's a red flag. Um, there's not many things in dentistry that have to happen right away. Obviously, if you're in pain, uh, you know, if you have a deep uh, cavity that's approaching the nerve, that's kind of important. But a lot of things in dentistry really can wait. It's really not that dire. Heavy work that comes out of the blue. Yeah, exactly. You know, was there multiple hygiene checks that sort of went fine and then all of a sudden this, you know, $6,000 suggestion comes out about having some veneers or, you know, having a bridge. That's definitely a bit of a, a bit of a question mark. Deals that are too good to be true. Oh, this deals word at the dentist. That just sounds like a car salesman to me. I like to stay out of the money thing. I like to see an office run where the office manager talks about the money to you, not the dentist. Dentists are wheeling, dealing in the back room, cutting deals. I don't know. People, some people like that, but it sort of gives me a bit of an uneasy feeling. I try to stay out of that. Diagnosing a lot of procedures not covered by insurance. Here's one I want to zoom into. Not showing you x-rays. Folks, get used to looking at your x-rays. It's really a good idea. I know you want the dentist to do that and you know you say well I'm not a dentist how do I know but just get used to looking at them recently I've been going to the chiropractor I don't know anything about chiropractic x-rays had a nasion view done a nasion x-ray I don't even know what that is but you know my chiropractor was just showing me about it and I'm, I'm starting to learn a little bit a bit about it get used to looking at your dental x-rays and and ask your dentist to show you what they're seeing on the x-rays I always try to do that with folks is actually get the x-rays up and show them. We here at uh, helpmewithmyteeth.com really get a lot more into this where we get your x-rays and actually spend a lot of time showing you details on the x-rays that are important. This is really the power of a tooth talk. How can I protect myself against dental fraud? Beware of in-network. Choose a dentist based on referrals, not one. Not who your insurance company tells you to see. Yeah, definitely good advice there. Stay away from practices that advertise. Maybe a little harsh. I don't think that advertising is necessarily uh, the end of the world, but you know what? Practices that do well and are honest generally don't need a whole lot of advertising. Look for a name on the door. Yeah, with a lot of corporate offices now, a lot of the dentists are revolving in and out there pretty quick. You really never know who you're going to see. 
course, here's one I really want to get into. Ask for a second opinion. Really, don't be shy. It's not offensive. A lot of people think, oh, how am I going to say that to the dentist? It's going to offend them and they're going to think I'm second guessing them. No. Any dentist that gets nervous about something like that really uh, is not being professional. There's nothing wrong with asking for a second opinion. And I really encourage it with uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, maybe procedures that people don't know a lot about. Periodontal procedures, periodontal surgery, you know, deep curatage, um, you know, implant stuff, uh, TMJ, temporal, mandib temporal mandibular joint problems. Definitely get into the second opinion. So we here at Help Me With My Teeth offer our Tooth Talk, which is an online dental consultation where we go through your intraoral images and your digital x-rays. Uh, you can look at the description below and get a little better idea what that is, but we spend a lot of time talking about this and really offer a lot of second opinions. Flip over to us at helpmewithmyteeth.com, have a look and see what we offer and I think you'll see the real power of getting your own tooth talk, your own uh, personal uh, online dental consultation. Be skepti skeptical of a new dentist that prescribes a ton of treatment. Yeah, how come all of a sudden I need all these fillings? Is that really where we're going with this? Trust your gut. Yeah, if it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. I tell my kids that all the time. Ask about loops. Yeah, that can be good. Working under magnification is always good. Be choosy. Pick the dent, the best dentist for you. Yeah, well, what is that, exactly does that mean? I'm talking about one that, again, here we go. One that you can trust. You Just that trust is established and you feel that this person is really giving you an opportunity to get other opinions, to think about it, to wait, to do your homework, to... You know, go find out on the web more about it. So, hope this gives you a little bit of an idea of, you know, how not to get ripped off and how to get sort of the most bang for your buck, get great dentistry and keep your budget in control and not end up uh, doing a whole ton of dental work that you really don't need. All right, we got through that one unscathed. Thank you for joining us here. Help me with my teeth.com. Please give us a like down below. Feel free to subscribe and leave a comment. We'll catch you next time at help me with my teeth.com. Have a great one.